Meanwhile, several miles to the south, a group of steamers are assembling below Youngstown. There is nothing like experiencing the sight and sound of live steam locomotives battling the heavy grade over the serpentine. Sit back and enjoy the show as we let the steam engines do the talking.
Our steam chase comes to an end after a great show. We again check in with the tour train, which is just arriving at Crane. The siding is named for Train Mountain volunteer Jerry Crane and is located just a few hundred feet below Panzik, which is on the return track, higher up the mountain. The depot and water tower were built in Washington State by a club from Kitsap, known as the Kitsap Crew, and trucked here for installation. According to the station sign, we have traveled 4.2 miles from Central Station. Looking at a map, we can see that we still have a little ways to go before reaching the end of track near Hope Circle. Crane is a water stop for thirsty steam locomotives, which venture out to this remote place. Rami Farage pulls into the siding at Crane to top off his 040, which he brought down from Canada. If you are going to explore a big place like Train Mountain, you need a big map. There we go, that's what we're going on. With fresh water and a better idea of where he is, Rami continues heading up to Hope Circle. This tour to Hope Circle is just one of the many routes you can take. We simply don't have enough time to explore them all. With 275 visiting trains running throughout Train Mountain, there is always track work to be done. Charlie Bill and Art Crisp stayed busy fixing the troubled spots. See how it's bent down? That, in, that rail right there? I don't think we're going to get it up in the air. We drive around in a gator and uh, find green blocks and fix track as we go. A green block is placed on the ground if a section of bad track is found. They work quickly and rarely hold up traffic. Not too often do we have to hold up people very long, but once in a while they have to wait a few minutes till we get a piece of track replaced or something. But usually it's, uh, we try and get in between trains. With 36 miles of track, there is lots to do for this maintenance of way crew of two. That's, that's 100% better. Okay. Thanks to their hard work, trains are able to keep rolling on Train Mountain.
For many live steam enthusiasts, the passion for trains began at an early age. Children who learn to operate model trains around a loop of track at home find it educational and fun. Even more so when they actually ride on the trains they are operating. And for some lucky kids, live steam railroading is a wonderful experience they will never forget. There's more to the triennial than just running trains. The vendor barn is a popular place to visit in between runs. Everything from shirts and memorabilia to live steam locomotives, rolling stock, track and other accessories are available. There really is something for everyone at the vendor barn. At Train Mountain, the fun doesn't stop when the sun goes down. As the lesser light rises, railroading takes on a whole new experience. UP 828 departs Crisp Yard at 10 p.m. as a light rain begins to fall. A gyro light illuminates the 300-foot tunnel under the main yard.
The UP-828 works hard over the heavy grade and wet rail as the train rolls through the night. The other northern, UP-844, marches up the hill at Blue Caboose. Four O follows behind. Another nighttime train returns to Crisp Yard after completing its evening run. It's time to tie her down and call it a night. Not everybody is sleeping at Train Mountain. The Australians have picked this night to make another trip to Hope Circle. They've asked us to come along, so let's take a trip aboard the Intercity XPT. We are delayed a bit at Whitcomb after the Y-Class engine goes on the ground. There was a little damage to the locomotive, but the Australians have what they need to get her fixed and make a good time of it. An Scalpel. Fix the driver, that is. <laughs> oh, God, if you don't laugh, you go mad, eh? Mm. Away from me, down, on, done. Soon we are back underway, following the gleam of our headlight on the rails as we slip through the dark forest in the cool night air. This is something everyone should experience.
As the 2012 Triennial draws near to the end, everybody assembles at the main yard for the traditional big toot and parade. Hundreds of people gather trackside to see this amazing spectacle as gas, electric, and steam trains are readied for the event. People pose for pictures to capture memories of their time here. Just before 10 a.m., everyone clears the yard for photos of all the trains. Then they reassemble as Sharon Breen gives the command for the big toot. Grand Marshal Art Crisp officially kicks off the parade to the delight of the crowd on Charlie Bill's diesel. Trains file out of the yard in the Grand Parade as people head out for one last ride before packing things up and heading home. We climb aboard our tour train one last time, which has made it around Hope Circle, through Pan's Exciting, and is now heading back down the mountain at Whitcomb, approaching the bi-directional track. We still have a long way to go, and plenty of new territory to explore before we arrive back at Central Station. So, what is Train Mountain? There's no real way to describe it. You just have to come over sometime and see it for yourself. And if you make it to a triennial, you'll be glad you did. Well, it, uh, it's unbelievable to most people. They, uh, they figure toy trains, you know, as a loop around the Christmas tree or something. But when they come out here and they see all this equipment and all these locomotives and 35 miles of rail, it, uh, Kind of an eye opener. <laughs> I learned one one word. It's awesome. It's unbelievable. It's scary too. <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite different from anything we've got in Australia. <laughs> it's absolutely fabulous. I've never. Uh, it's 
I've seen some pictures of it, but you've got to see it to believe it. It's, uh, it's a huge effort to put all of this together, and, and uh, it's absolutely marvelous to be able to come and visit and enjoy it all. We heard nothing but, but positive reviews from the people that attended it. The blogosphere is, uh, was all positive. And uh, everybody went home happy and had a really good time. And that's the important thing is everybody had fun. I feel it was very successful. I have had nothing but positive comments from the people that were here. Every one of them left with a smile on their face. And, and all of the comments I said, this is, this is the best triennial ever. And of course, we'll prove it with this video. I think everybody had a really, really good time. I know we did. The conditioning pump. Come on, Penny, you're taking all the film. Yeah, I am. I am. He's already had to change the film once. <laughs>